in our previous video, we arrived in Puerto Rico, picked up our rental car, and settled into our sweet vacation rental in Fajardo. We are Joel and Michelle. We sold everything for a lifetime of adventure, and then the world shut down. Join us as we navigate nomadic life and traveling as the world opens back up. We are, I guess, technically day two here in Puerto Rico, and uh, we just received our negative COVID test, so that's good. Um, yes. We weren't really quite sure how to upload them. <laughs> that's a mystery. Uh, that was a mystery, so we just sent an email to the public health department with our test to let them know that they were negative. So we'll see if that does anything. I'm not sure. Um, if it does, I guess we'll let you know. And so, yeah, we're just running to go get groceries. There's a Walmart here that's really close to us. A couple other supermarkets that are really close and easy to make our way to. So we're just getting settled in. Got to get some sunglasses because uh, I somehow lost my sunglasses <laughs> and it's bright here. Yeah. OK, so we just hit the Walmart here. Uh, it's kind of crazy busy in there. <laughs> we're a little surprised, but this one doesn't actually have here in Fidardo. There's like hardly any food in there at all. Took a peek in the Econo as well, and it's definitely got a lot more food and stuff. One thing I did do is pick up a new pair of sunglasses. So, I don't know, what do you think? You think they fit me? What do you think? Yeah, yeah? they look good. All right, there we go, I'll take that. Oh, I'll try to get some video of it, but I noticed one thing is that like the beer here, they, they sell a lot of stuff in 10 ounce cans instead of 12 ounce cans that we're used to in uh, the mainland. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. Okay, so we finally made it out of the condo. We are at Penamar Ocean Club in Fajardo, Puerto Rico. And we've been here for a couple days, sadly. We haven't left the condo because we've been trying to catch up and work, finish on some blog posts, a couple other things. So we finally made it out of the condo today and uh, went for a walk. We checked out our apartment complex, which is really, really nice and beautiful views. But while we were out walking, uh, Joel seemed to get in a little bit of trouble. What did you do? <laughs> Well, leave it to me. I Everywhere I go, I always end up finding some kind of biting insect. And usually it's like wasps that are like attracted to me. I've been stung in the nose and arms and countless other places on shoots and things like that before. So I just got tagged twice by wasps. You can see that one. And then another one right there. <sighs> but I was trying to get a view, a little video of uh, looking out over the ocean there and uh, the Caribbean and I ended up getting stung. Actually, my foot was like covered in ants. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ants. Oh yeah, you stuck them. Ant hill. Oh, thank you. Can get you? Ow. Ooh, this little <laughs> bit me. Dang, man. Aww. Well, apparently I found some biting ants. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped in a, a little ant hill. The guys, the guys got me. I used uh, some more choice words than that. But... A couple of red spots. They don't look too bad now. They don't look too bad. Yeah. So uh, it's time to put on my Benadryl itch relief stick. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Which I carry with me everywhere I go. Because these things are just to knock the the sting down a little bit. So now I'll be a little more careful every time I sit down, everywhere I step. I can't, I don't know man, everywhere I go, insects like me. This is Cafe Playero. Playero. 
and these are some pretty darn good mangoes. Oh yeah, these are pretty so, good. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really good. It's nice and fresh. And we have a really nice view too. Check this out. I just got my food and it's, I ordered codfish fritters and I can't remember what it's called. It, the menu's gone, but it's like batalinos or something like that. Probably pronouncing that, probably saying the wrong word, but let's try it out and see what it tastes like. Hmm, very crispy, as a fritter should be. It's different, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a, maybe like a nugget, like a chuck, a, a chunk of, a chunk of something, but this is really good. It's like a cod potato chip, so and it's seasoned really well too. So, and there's also the sauce. I don't know what it is, but mm, that's good too. What is that? Plantain. Or plantain. Yeah. Oh, the chicken. The chicken nugget. Thing. Looks like there's some peppers in here. Onion. Ooh. Oh, that's good. The chicken is really tasty. It's really flavorful. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, that's how you're supposed to eat it. Oh, <laughs> Café Playero is located at Parque Recreativo, along with several other restaurants. Some days, they are even piragua vendors. It's also a local hangout with some really sweet views. and the starting point for kayak tours of Fajardo's Bio Bay. We ended the day enjoying the views from our balcony as the sun set. In the next video, we explore Fajardo's Seven Seas Beach and the red sands of Playa Colora. Thanks for watching and happy wandering.